Hi everyone, it's Keith here, Admin and Finance Officer at New Me for Christ, and it's my turn today to take you through the Bible passage for the Life Words video, and we're looking at Mark chapter 12, verse 18 to 34. I hope you're all reading along in your Bibles as we look at this passage of Scripture together. Now today's passage has is split into two sections, the second section being one of my favourite parts of the Bible, but let's go back to the first section, which is where Jesus is asked a question by the Sadducees. Now, if you remember, Kweku yesterday was sharing about the Pharisees asking questions. Now it's the turn of the Sadducees. It says in the very first verse of this portion of Scripture that the Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection, the resurrection being when, when the Messiah comes back, that all of the dead will be raised back to life. That's what this means. And it says that the Sadducees don't believe this. So what do they ask Jesus a question about? You guessed it, resurrection. And they ask Jesus this really long and involved question. And Jesus just lets them talk and ask the question. And he waits to answer the question. He doesn't jump in to try and answer the question. He knows well who they are and what they're about. But he lets them ask the question anyway. And I think that's a good thing for us as well sometimes. Sometimes when people talk to us about faith and about you know God and Jesus and church and stuff, sometimes we can be very keen to jump in with an answer to a question but I think we need to learn as Jesus did to sit and listen let people ask the question and then we can hopefully answer the question better but Jesus was the master at answering questions as you'd as you'd expect and he says to them he says you don't understand the scriptures that you that you're reading and he says when people are, are raised from the dead they'll be like angels they won't be like people be, it, Jesus actually says they'll be like angels on heaven so the whole question that the Sadducees have been asking about who someone going to be married to is irrelevant. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter. Jesus says to them, "You don't understand the scriptures that you're reading," and he says to them, "You know, you look at the book of Moses." And when God spoke to Moses, it's obvious that God is the God of the living and not the dead. And that's what we believe as well, obviously, that God is the God of the living. So once again, we see Jesus, uh, for want of a better expression, putting uh, the so-called so religious leaders and thinkers in their place and putting them right with what God actually means through his scriptures and then the next section we come on this is this is a real favorite of mine it says a teacher of the law comes over because he sees jesus being asked questions and he asks he asks jesus which is the most important of the commandments and when he talks about the commandments he's talking about the ten commandments that uh, you know it's in the old testament where moses gets from god and jesus says to him he says the most important commandment is love the lord your god with all your heart your soul your mind and your strength. By this, he's basically meaning he says you've got to love God with your whole being, with your knowledge, with your education, with your mind, with uh, you know, with your feelings, with your faith, and and in everything that you do. And then he says the second most important scripture is love your neighbour as you love yourself. And the teacher says says to Jesus, he says, I agree with you. You know, you've given the right answer. And he says, you know, he thinks these things are much more important uh, and relevant than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now, what when he says this, what he means is he's talking about all the religious acts that act, that happened in the temple at the time. You know, people used to go to the temple to make offerings and sacrifices to God. So what this what this guy's actually saying is, you know, like how we live our lives and what we do and how we treat other people is more important than all the religious bits that we do in church. And Jesus... Uh, agrees with them and says i tell you now that you're not far off from the kingdom of heaven so basically jesus is saying y you've got it you understand that you understand what this teaching's all about this scripture has been a real uh challenge and encouragement to me in all of the time that i've been a christian you know that you know it's very easy for us as christians to get wrapped up in church and everything that church is involved and i'm not saying at all that there's anything wrong in the things that the church do but if we if we live our lives doing that but not having a real living faith a real living belief in jesus and and that real living belief is is not shown in how we treat people and what we do then basically we're not living out our faith and our beliefs properly and you know when jesus says about you know love your neighbor as you love yourself the big question has been always been is who is your neighbor now you can literally mean the person who lives next door to you i personally believe that your neighbor is everybody else so you need to love everybody else as much as you love yourself which is a very big thing and not easy to do at all but no one ever said that following Jesus was easy so a great passage for us to look at there and to think about and particularly the second part for me and I always like to end by 
us asking ourselves some questions. So today I want to ask us, do we love God and Jesus with our whole being and all of our lives? Are there areas of our lives where, if we're honest, that Jesus and God are not part of and that we try to keep hidden from, from God? And if that is the case, why do we do that? Let's open ourselves up. Let's completely trust ourselves to God, commit ourselves to God, to Jesus and to, you know, to living our lives for him. And also, do we love our neighbours? Do we really have a heart for them? In, in these times we're living in at the moment, where we're all sort of basically living at home, you know, we very rarely see our neighbours. I only see my neighbours every Thursday night when we go outside and we clap for the NHS. And it's really good to spend five or ten minutes having a chat and catching up with each other. But do we love everybody else in the world as much as we love ourselves? Do we want to reflect Jesus in our lives to all of our neighbours as well? Let's think about that and pray about that today and let's see what God says to us. So it's been great to speak to you today. Join us again for the next Life Words. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the sections below, wherever you're watching. Don't forget, we now have our YouTube channel. So if you if you want to find us, put uh, New Youth for Christ in the search engine. And once you've found us, click the subscribe button so you can get updates on everything that we do. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. And uh, keep reading your Bible, and we'll see you on the next Life Words. Bye.